There's been traffic chaos on the Tonkin Highway during morning peak hour after a truck's upright tray slammed into a bridge. It's believed it was the driver's first day on the job, the mishap delaying commuters for more than two hours. It doesn't look right, and that's because it's not. It's tipping bin vertical and doing 80 kilometres an hour on Tonkin Highway. The prime mover ploughed into the Great Eastern Highway Bridge just after 5am. Sleeping Redcliffe residents heard and felt it. All I think was the end of the world. <laughs> but I didn't know there was a um, truck. The bin was smashed off, so too the back trailer. The driver, new on the job, we're told, not injured, but cue the pain for commuters as southbound lanes were closed for repairs. Diversions in place, but motorists gridlocked for kilometres. I was at the nail salon and she said um, she was stuck on the traffic for like two hours. A main airport route shut down. It's lucky there are few flights at the moment. Main roads flabbergasted, even if malfunction turns out to be a cause. I'm astounded how he didn't know uh, that his trailer was extended. As far as Perth bridges go, this one is quite high, at least six metres, I'm told. But that doesn't seem to matter when a tipper is bolt upright, as you can see by the scratches left behind. The estimated bill, $150,000 for the damaged truck, even more if the bin hire company is fined and ordered to pay for road repairs. $200,000, uh, but the cost of congestion is probably a lot more than that. Seven hours worth, to be exact, before conditions return to normal. The first and maybe last day for this driver. Renee Henry, Nine News. We have breaking news now on a highway tragedy south of Perth. Mia, Edgerton, and Warburton, this is a developing story. The details are just coming into the newsroom. Michael, we know one truck driver is dead and the other is in hospital. Both were carrying cattle when they collided on the southwestern highway about 3.40 this afternoon. You can see the road train actually rolled, killing some livestock, while others have run from the scene. In total, 92 heads of cattle were involved in the crash. It's understood the highway around Picton East near Bunbury is still closed in both directions. The second driver was taken by ambulance to Bunbury Hospital, but the extent of their injuries is still unclear. Michael. Mia, thank you.